The New York Yankees kicked off their American League Division Series against the Kansas City Royals with a nail-biting 6-5 win, thanks to a clutch performance by an unexpected hero, Luke Weaver. A year ago, Weaver struggled as a Cincinnati Reds starter with a rough 6.87 ERA. But, in a turn of fate, he has redefined himself in pinstripes, evolving into a reliable bullpen option and securing his spot as the Yankees' go-do closer. As the Yankees entered October with high hopes, Weaver's role became increasingly pivotal. A month ago, as the team was looking to lock down the AL East, there were whispers of using a bullpen by committee approach due to injuries. However, Weaver rose to the occasion, cementing his place as a crucial piece of the bullpen down the stretch. In the opening game of the Best of Five series, he shouldered the pressure of closing and held off Kansas City's powerful lineup with a four-out save, including three strikeouts and a final showdown against Bobby Witt Jr., who uncharacteristically went zero for five in the game. Though Weaver delivered, the game wasn't without its tense moments for the Yankees. Ace Jarrett Cole struggled to find his rhythm, while star slugger Aaron Judge went hitless, striking out three times in an uncharacteristic performance. Yet, the Yankees' fortunes took a positive turn due to some pivotal plays and questionable decisions from the Royals. Kansas City's manager, Matt Quattraro, decided to pull starting pitcher Michael Waka in the fifth inning, which shifted momentum toward New York. One of manager Aaron Boone's key decisions, starting Oswaldo Cabrera at first base and Alex Verdugo in left field, also paid off. Verdugo, whose season was marked by inconsistency, stepped up with a critical go-ahead RBI single in the seventh inning, breaking a tie and giving the Yankees a lead they would not relinquish. Reflecting on the game, Verdugo admitted, I was booing myself, too, acknowledging his struggles during the regular season that had fans calling for rookie Jason Dominguez to take his spot. In addition to Verdugo's heroics, Jazz Chisholm Jr. played an important role both on and off the field. The energetic infielder, who shares flights with Weaver, noted that he believed his teammate was built for this moment. Coming in with a runner on first in the eighth inning, Weaver displayed the poise of a season closer, ultimately retiring Kansas City's top hitters to seal the victory. Weaver's approach was reminiscent of Mariano Rivera's iconic presence, delivering a perfect ninth inning and striking out Michael Massey and Bobby Wood Jr. before inducing a groundout from Vinny Pasquantino to end the game. Jazz Chisholm Jr. humorously reflected on their friendship and the competitiveness of Weaver's demeanor, even in team card games. Jazz had a lot of really nice things to say, Weaver commented. I wish he would say that to my face. Our friendship would really take a leap. Despite his lighthearted comments, Weaver was visibly moved by the significance of his performance, calling it everything you dream of capturing the essence of a classic October moment. Throughout the game, there were missed opportunities on both sides. Glaber Torres delivered for the Yankees with a two-run homer and two walks, while Juan Soto's defensive prowess was on full display as he threw out Kansas City's Salvador Perez from right field, preventing an early score. Austin Wells, who had struggled at the plate in September, also came through with a game-tying RBI single in the sixth to keep the Yankees in contention. Kansas City, however, left the Bronx with regrets. In the second inning, Royals third base coach Vance Wilson made the controversial decision to send Salvador Perez home, leading to an out at the plate. The Royals missed chances, along with costly mistakes, prevented them from capitalizing on Cole's off night, highlighted by a two-run homer from MJ Melendez in the fourth inning. The Yankees now lead the series 1-0, but the Royals will have a chance to strike back with Cole Raggins taking the mound against Yankees left-hander Carlos Rodon in Game 2. The Royals know that they missed an opportunity to steal a game in the Bronx but will look to reset and regroup for a crucial second matchup after the off day. For the Yankees, Weaver's heroics have set the tone for what they hope will be a deep postseason run, and the ball he saved from his first career postseason save already has a place of honor in his collection.